What's up, Dark Avenger Inc. Plus? Can you guess who's behind the glasses? Why, of course, none other than me, J. Al Ghul. What's up, guys? Long time no see. Uh, took a little bit of a two-week vacation. The first week, it was because I had midterms and college stuff. The second week was because I was on spring break and I wanted to spend some time with some family. And in that two weeks, got me some new glasses. So, I'm here to review my favorite, absolute favorite, independent comic that is currently out, and that is Saga, issue number 11. Let's start this review by checking out the awesome cover by Fiona Staples. That's an awesome cover with Marco's father. Um, he's a big part of this issue. I'll get into that in a little bit. In a little bit. My bad. I don't know why I was stumbling over my words today. But, man, this was a very emotionally heavy issue. Oh, my gosh. I had to take off my glasses and cry a little bit. Uh, a little bit. Not that, I mean, it wasn't like a major cry, but it was like... And I didn't actually cry, it was one of those things where you get the lump in your throat, you feel like you want to cry, but you don't cry, if you know what I mean. Um, pretty much here we find out the fate of Lion Cat, I'm not going to spoil it. We find out the fate of Marco's dad, I'm not going to spoil it. And I will spoil this though, they do get away from the giant... Time suck the uh, egg planet monster thingy that was in the last issue. It's really cool. Um, the beginning of the issue gets a little raunchy, it's a little risque, because uh, we get to see the conception of Hazel. Giggity giggity. Alright. <laughs> Sorry, had to do it. Yeah, we get to see the conception of Hazel, the, you know, of the initial sex that <laughs> led to Hazel being born. And then the whole conversation of Alana saying, well, this would never work. But then Marco's like, you know, that's the ultimate symbol of, you know, peace between our two worlds. And it's like, I don't even know if that's going to work. And then, you know, we know now one thing led to another and it did work. So, they're good. All in all, this was a very, very amazing book. As always, it just, this kind of really tucks on the heartstrings, especially if you've been following their journey and um, you're liking the backstory we got a little bit with the family in the previous issues. Oh man, this really tugs on the heartstrings. This was a good, good issue. Oh my god. It just was very sad towards the end. Very emotional, and um, Hazel's narration is very interesting, especially like when you read the last little narration that she says. Um, now, actually, I'm thinking that I didn't actually know what Saga was supposed to be, if that makes any sense. I didn't know if it was just Hazel retelling her life, but I think this is actually, you know how, um, Initially, Alana was inspired by the dude who wrote this book, and the book, the romance novel, had, you know, the hidden message of peace between the two worlds during the wartime. Well, what if, and this is my theory, I'm not sure, but I think it is, what if Kazel is actually writing a no romance novel that is kind of also a autobiography of her and her family? very interesting because I'm going to spoil this part at the end. Um, uh, no, I can't spoil it. I'm not going to spoil it. But she mentions a bookmark, and uh, that's why I'm thinking maybe Hazel is writing a romance novel that is also kind of an autobiography of her family and, you know, the genuine love story between her parents and just her entire family. I thought that was really cool. It was an interesting revelation. It's kind of one of those things where I think I might have just read too much into it, but let me know if you guys agree. I know a lot of people like Saga. 
It's a huge hit within the comic book community, especially here on YouTube. I got into it because I heard a bunch of different reviewers say that it was amazing, so I bought the trade as quick as I could, and I caught up on the issues. Now I'm just addicted. This is my favorite independent series out. It's great. Uh, let me, before I give my rating, I am going to show you the awesome interior art by Fiona Staples. It's always awesome and it's always consistently great. Alright, check it out. Like I said, Saga delivers yet again. This was very emotionally heavy. I really enjoyed it. This was a lot of good character development here. And um, interesting revelation. I didn't really think about the fact that Hazel might actually be writing a novel that's a romance novel slash autobiography of her and her family and her family's love story or her parents' love story. That's pretty interesting. Um, let me know what you guys think. Let me know your thoughts on the issue like or comment like and com like this video if you um, enjoyed it comment on this video with your thoughts on the issue follow us on follow dark avenger inc and dark avenger inc plus on facebook i will leave a link in the description below and if you haven't already go subscribe to my channel youtube.com slash it's right on the side of the dark avenger inc plus main channel so once you go on Dark Hunter Inc. Plus, hit that subscribe. On the side, you'll see a whole list of our members. Subscribe to each one of them. And if you want to, subscribe to me. Uh, well, that's it for my review, you guys. Until next time, this is J.L. Gould. And remember, once a comic geek, always a comic geek. Peace.